Hi, and welcome to the Nordic Track Commercial Treadmill Series Assembly video. Follow these steps for the 2450, 1750, and 1250 models. Step 1 Assembly Tips Assembly requires two people. Place all parts in a cleared area and remove the packing materials. After shipping, there may be an oily substance on the exterior of the treadmill. This is normal. Wipe it off with a soft cloth and non abrasive cleaner. Left parts are marked L or left, and right parts are marked R or right. The required tools are hex keys, included with the parts, a Phillips screwdriver, and one adjustable wrench. Do not use power tools and keep the treadmill power cord unplugged during assembly. Step 2. How to connect wires. In the user manual, step 2 shows how to connect wires. You will have to connect wires multiple times, and we'll demonstrate how throughout this assembly video. Step 3. Connect the right upright wires to the base. Lay the right upright near the upright base. Remove and discard the screw next to the square hole. Attach the ground wire to the right upright with the included grounded screw. Identify the belly pan wire and firmly push the wires into its connector to ensure the wires are fully seated. They should snap together with an audible click. Insert the wires into the indicated square hole and press the grommet into the hole. Step 4. Attach the right and left uprights to the base. Have a second person hold the right upright against the upright base. Do not pinch the belly pan wire. Insert two 3 8 by 2 and 3 8 inch screws with two 3 8 inch star washers into the top of the bracket on the right upright base. Do not fully tighten the screws yet. Follow the same steps for the left upright. The left does not have a wire. Step 5. Attach the handrail to the right and left uprights. Remove the tie securing the right upright wire. Have a second person hold the handrail on the right and left uprights. Attach the handrail assembly with four 3 8 by 2 and 3 4 inch screws and four 3 8 inch washers. Star all four screws, then tighten them. Step 6. Connect the handrail wire to the right upright wire. Identify the handrail wire and firmly push the wires into its connector to ensure the wires are fully seated. They should snap together with an audible click. Step 7. Attach the left and right handrail covers. Insert the front edge of the left handrail cover into the top of the left handrail. Press down on the top of the left handrail cover until it snaps into place. Repeat the same steps to attach the right handrail cover. Step 8. Console Attachment Part 1. Have a second person hold the console just above the handrail with a curved edge of the console pivot bracket facing away from the user on the treadmill. Without pinching any wires, insert the wires into the round hole in the handrail as you set the console on the handrail. Attach the console pivot bracket with two M6 by 25 mm screws. Do not fully tighten the screws yet. Step 9. Console Attachment Part 2. Rotate the console so it faces the opposite direction, revealing the next two holes. Start two M6 by 25 mm screws in the console, then firmly tighten. Attach the left pivot cover to the console pivot bracket with an M4 by 20 mm screw. Do not over tighten. Step 10, console attachment part three. Rotate the console to its original position. Firmly tighten the two M6 by 25 mm screws that you attached in step eight. Attach the left pivot cover to the console pivot bracket with an M4 by 20 mm screw. Do not over tighten. Connect console wires to handrail wires. For each of the wires, firmly push the wires into their connectors to ensure they are fully seated. Match each connector based on size. Make sure the latch on one connector is on the same side as the catch on the other small connector. Slide the connectors together for each pair. They should snap together with an audible click, except for the smallest pair. Position the wires inside of the opening in the handrail. Insert the front edge of the access panel into the opening in the handrail and attach it with a number eight by three quarters inch screw. Do not over tighten. Step 12, attach the latch crossbar. Have a second person raise the frame and hold it. Remove the two five sixteenths by three quarters inch screws from the latch crossbar. Line up the latch crossbar to match the holes and make sure the this side toward belt sticker is facing the treadmill. Attach the latch crossbar to the brackets on the frame with two 5 16 by 3 4 inch screws that you just removed and two 5 16 inch star washers. 
Step 13, Storage Latch Attachment Part 1. Remove the 5 16 inch nut, the two 3 8 inch thrust washers, and the 5 16 by 1 and 3 quarter inch bolt from the bracket on the upright base. If one of the bushings comes out, reinsert it. Orient the storage latch as shown. Attach the lower end of the storage latch to the bracket on the upright base with a 5 16 inch by 1 and 3 quarter inch bolt the two 3 8 inch thrust washers, and the 5 16 inch nut. Step 14, Storage Latch Attachment Part 2. Remove the 5 16 inch nut and the 5 16 inch by 2 and a quarter inch bolt from the bracket on the latch crossbar. Align the upper end of the storage latch with the bracket on the latch crossbar and insert the 5 16 by 2 and a quarter inch bolt through the bracket and storage latch. This will push a spacer out of the storage latch. Discard it. If one of the bushings comes out, reinsert it. Tighten the 5 16 inch nut onto the 5 16 by 2 and a quarter inch bolt. Do not over tighten the nut. The storage latch must be able to pivot. Now lower the frame. Step 15 Tighten loose screws. Firmly tighten the two 3 8 by 2 and 3 8 inch screws and the two 3 8 by 1 and a quarter inch screws in the right and left uprights. Step 16 Attach base covers. Slide the right base cover under the belly pan wire and onto the upright base. Repeat this step for the left base cover, but note that there's no belly pan wire on the left side. Step 17, final inspection. Make sure all the parts are properly tightened, carefully remove plastic on decals, place a mat under the treadmill to protect the floor, keep the console out of direct sunlight to avoid damage. Store the hex keys in a secure place. One of the hex keys is used to adjust the walking belt. Thank you so much for purchasing this Nordic Track treadmill and enjoy!